I love to have simple spreads and dips around all the time. I'm someone that loves a dip and I love to have things that I can just eat and not feel too guilty about. While so many bought and dips and spreads are good, sometimes it's nice just to make one at home. You know what goes into it with simple ingredients and you know how healthy it is. That is why I love this fresh and simple pea hummus. It is so delicious and really just a few quick ingredients that usually you have on hand and I think you're gonna be as addicted to it as I am. To start, just bring a kettle of some water to a boil on your stove. I love to use frozen peas for this. You can of course use fresh peas, but it's really not worth the money buying them and they can sometimes be hard to find. Frozen vegetables really are delicious. They're usually frozen right at their peak ripeness so they retain a lot of great flavor. Once your water comes to a boil, you can just throw the peas into the pan. Now, do not overcook your peas. You wanna retain that beautiful bright green color and the flavors best if you don't overcook them. So once you put them in the pan, just put the lid on and then only let them sit there for about a minute or a little bit more. To me, the best way to know when they're done is just to take one out of the water and pop it in my mouth and see if it's the consistency I want. You want them to have just a little bit of bite and still have some great flavor. Once they're done, just immediately drain them and I like to shock them with a little bit of cold water. It's kind of like a quick and almost cheating way to do a blanch. Just put a little bit of cold running water over them just to kind of stop the cooking process. I like to put this dip all together right inside of my food processor. It just is one bowl then you have to clean and it, everything gets mixed together right in there. The main herb and flavor in this is tarragon. It's something that really a lot of people don't use a lot, but I think it is so delicious. It has almost a slight licorice type flavor and yet a more earthy and other wonderful herby tones to it. I just take one small package that you can buy in the grocery store, they're usually about three quarters of an ounce, and I just strip the leaves from the stems right into the food processor. And just rip any of the extra leaves that don't strip off easily right into the food processor as well. Once all your tarragon is added, you can just dump the peas right on top that should be drained by now. And then to finish this off, I just squeeze two lemons right into the whole mixture and to make sure you extract as much juice as possible, let the lemons be at room temperature and roll them slightly with the palm of your hand. This just gets the juices kind of broken up inside of the membranes and then they'll come out so much easier. These handy juicers make it so easy. To finish it off, you of course want to add some tahini. Tahini is just roasted sesame seeds that are finely ground into a paste. It's in a lot of hummuses and Middle Eastern dishes, and it's a really delicious thing to have around. You can use it in salad dressings or a lot of other things. So just keep it in your fridge like I do, and you will find so many uses for it. Add the tahini to the food processor and then a little bit of salt. You can add salt later on too to adjust the flavor. Put the lid on and just mix it on high until it's really incorporated. You cannot over mix this, don't worry. Once it's mixed, you just may wanna scrape down the bowl once to make sure everything's combined and then taste it. I usually think it needs a little bit more salt because this is a very sweet dish in a sense. Peas have a lot of natural sweetness to them so you really need that salt to balance them out. You can also add more lemon juice if you feel you need it, or keep some out in the beginning if you're not someone that likes a lot of that tart tone to it. Once it's completely mixed up, you're all done and ready to go. I keep a dish of this in my fridge in an airtight container at all times. I'm making a batch about every week and I love it. What's great is you can kind of mix it up and make it more your flavor. If tarragon isn't your herb, try another one. It's really good with a lot of fresh parsley in it or whatever herb maybe you like to use. Just try it out. This is such a healthy and delicious spread that you do not have to feel guilty about eating time and again. I think you're going to want to keep this in your fridge just like I do. If you agree and love this video, make sure to click like below. And if you want more great videos from The Gray Box, would click subscribe. And please leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys and see how you're using our videos and what you're being inspired to do. Until next time, I cannot wait to see you.